Hello everybody, my name is Miss Ray Ray, and welcome to Discovering Fandoms, where I talk about fandoms to give you a little more insight in case you want to, you know, check it out, see what you're missing. And today, I will be talking about Yuri on Ice. Yes, I know, Yuri on Ice. Just let me talk about it, okay? First off, Yuri on Ice is a sports anime focusing on male figure skating. It was produced by Mappa Studios, directed by Seiyo Yamamoto, written by Mitsuro Kubo, and music was done by Haru Umabayashi and Taku Matsushiba. And I mentioned the music because it's kind of an important thing in this anime. It just finished up its first season, um, kind of not just finished up, but it was uh, late December, around Christmas time. It ran from early October to end of December, like I was just saying. And despite its short history, the show itself has had a very fast growing traction through its premiere to now. Nowadays, when it comes to a lot of characters in an anime, I don't talk about like certain people, but even though all of the characters in this show are worth talking about and they all have, and they go, and they all have their own history, this anime mainly focuses on two individuals. Those are Yuri Katsuki and Victor Nikiforov. All of these Japanese names and I tr can't do the Russian one. Kind of typical. And the plot of this story basically is after a embarrassing display at the Grand Prix um, figure skating finale, Yuri Katsuki falls into a depression and identity crisis, much like we are all used to having. And through a series of events, which I won't spoil for you, don't worry, his longtime career inspiration, Victor, goes to see him and vows to coach him into the next Grand Prix gold medal first place. And after this wild declaration, events ensue, skating ensues. It's a sports anime after all. Skating is a necessary portion of this. Just a whole bunch of stuff, which really... I... I don't want to spoil what I want to talk about. So that is the plot. It is a sports anime, so it is mainly focusing on sports and these two individuals. I got into this fandom when the season was pretty much half over, so so it was around November, I guess. Um, but I quickly caught up. It was only there's only there are only 12 episodes in the series, so I got there around five and you know caught up within the night. What you can't help but notice, uh, first and foremost, is the opening scene, and within 30 seconds I fell in love with the music. The music in this show is so important. The music in this show is so important to the characters and the skating. Um, it's kind of, It's supposed to tell a subtlety story to it, so I'm glad they at least uh, pay attention to it. Because, you know, music has always been like one of the first things I fell in love with um, in life, so I'm really glad that this anime continued that love. All the characters in here, I love. They all <laughs> are just amazing, and it's really weird because you know in typical sports animes you have like your rivals and you know they don't want you to win and everything and they just c discourage you and try to beat you down mentally. and. It's weird you don't see that in this anime. I mean, yes, there's rivals and they all want to win, but they're supportive of each other and I love that. They all really just act like friends and it's amazing to see. I'm not used to that in anime. I do have a particular fave in the characters. I'm not gonna say who, but you all know who it is. So yeah, I loved this anime. If you guys want to check it out yourself, if, uh, if you are not an anime fan but you have an interest in figure skating, I think you would really enjoy this anime. This is actually a great um, way to start getting into anime, um, this show, because it doesn't have a lot of normal anime stereotypes in it. This was super short. I didn't think it would be this short, but that is, um, I guess, this week's discovering fandoms. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have the Wheel of Fandom spin so you guys know what to expect or what genre of fandom to expect next week or whichever week I get to talk about. 
Um, if you guys are wondering what else I do, I play video games sometimes if you guys want. I guess that's cool. If you want to watch other Discovering fandoms that I've done, you are more than welcome to do so. I do not recommend the early ones because those are embarrassing. Stop it. Don't watch those. Yeah, I'm pretty much just fandom girl here. I'm, I'm a Tumblr girl, Tumblr girl here on YouTube, so if you guys enjoy me, that's awesome. Um, if you don't, that's perfectly fine. So thank you guys so much for watching. I very, very much appreciate it. I will see all of you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.